Hi folks, a few people have asked how I make the um, little animation on my YouTube videos. It's the one where um, it does, does this on the start. Um, I do it in PowerPoint. It's very straightforward. Now I'll show you how it works. So um, we're in PowerPoint and I've put on the slide um, sorter here so you can kind of see what I'm, what I'm doing. And uh, this is the one that works. And we're going to, we'll, st we'll start from scratch. So we'll do it over here, okay? So I'll go over to normal and I'm going to just say import an image. You know, what you can do is, you know, insert picture and so on, just saving time here. Uh, and one small thing is to, so I can see where I'm going. I've, um, I've turned on the ruler, the grid lines and the guide. Uh, it just, it, it, it just helps kind of get the finer details because you can, you can zoom in and see what you're doing with a little bit of more, more precision. Um, when you have those on and that kind of helps later on by the way a, a shortcut here is if you hold down control and scroll with your um, mouse you can zoom in and zoom back out again so that's the image okay and what we're going to try and do is get it so that we have a um, a little tv sign um just um or run down from the top to the bottom and a little special effect at the end to make it swirl away so there are just two steps to it so i'll show you how it works so we have um, the image here, right? And it's just a, a JPEG, nothing else. And in the other um, slide here, I've created um, just, just a piece of text, that's all, that says TV. And I'm just going to, and you know, for what it's worth, I've made it um, Arial 88, nice and big, so I can kind of shrink it. So I just catch that, copy it, Control C, pop it in here, and just and paste it. And um, he comes up here. So what you can do is, it's up to yourself, but I just, I like to see where I'm going a little bit. So I just shrink that um, to bring him over here. And it's a bit of trial and error to get it to work. Um, so let's just select that guy there. And I think he's 88. Let's make it say 40, kind of half the size. So we have our image. We have our text here. And what we want to do is animate it, right? So you click on that. And you go to the animations option here. And if you click this drop down menu here, you get different special effects. But what you're after is what's called um, the more, well, sorry, to make it really easy for you, if you want to go in a straight line, just choose the line here. Um, let's just choose straight line, see what happens. So he's automatically trying to help you. And if we just go over here, you'll see what he's doing. So he's doing this, he goes on a little bit too far. And you, you, you can kind of see where I'm going right now that the red part there is where he finishes. And if you just zoom in, and again, it's where the trial and error comes in. If you hold down, I think it's the shift key on on um, PCs, that brings it up a little bit. And then we can kind of try it again. Okay, see how far he's going. close -ish. And I'm going to zoom out again. You can click on this. And like I said, you, you you get the idea, and it's just trial and error. Um, let's see how far he goes. So I, I'm going to just you know spare you all my little trial and errors. I'm going to cut now and come back in two seconds when it works. So let's so back back out for a moment. Uh, one small way you can kind of help um, gauge where you are is that the the red circle in the center is kind of misleading. That's 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 the center of the image you're moving, but if you look closely, maybe hard to see in your monitor. It's it's the actual image itself you're you're trying to the letter itself you're trying to move. So I can kind of see more or less there's where he is. And by the way, if you um if you click on that and then double click, you get this dialog box which gives you kind of more more special effects. We'll come to him in a second, okay? So just cancel out for a moment and. Um, so let's give it a try here. So he kind of comes, that's that's pretty close, right? So now we want to do is kind of, you know, put some little special effect on it. And if you click on him and then do right click, I think. No, excuse me. So if you click on him and now we're going to put an animation onto it. So you click that. And just, just hundreds of things here, but 
the one that I like the most is if you go to more exit effects and if you scroll down to the, the moderate section here there's one that's called shrink and turn I just I just show it to you you see how it works so we turn him on and you let's see how it works in a second so here we go one two bingo and it's gone and what I do is so that's all in PowerPoint and what I've done in my videos is I I run this do the little thing and I'm using a tool called um, called Camtasia just a screen recording tool basically and that's recording what I'm doing at the moment and all that I do is I record um, the PowerPoint I crop it in Camtasia down to the the one or two seconds that I need and then I am um, I just insert it into each of the videos that I make and, and that's all there's to it really I know it looks a bit tricky at first but um there's only two or three steps to it really and um, by playing around like this you can get some really nice little features um, you don't have to use any expensive software PowerPoint does it all you know so that's it um, I hope you enjoyed it take it easy bye bye